Hello, Body of Messiah. Today we're going to start a new series. It will be titled The Why. The W H I. I'm going to share a banner with you that's going to show you what this acronym represents. The W H I represents the whole house of Israel. And in this Bible study series that I'm starting, we're going to address two things. Number one, we're going to address the land space that they're fighting over in the Middle East right now that they call Israel, um, this little land space. Um, we're going to discuss it and, and reasons that they're fighting over it that has gotten distorted because that little portion of land represents less than 10% of the actual biblical boundaries that God defined and gave to the nation of Israel. We're going to discuss the land space and the actual true boundaries of the nation of Israel that God granted to his people. We're also going to address the actual people, the descendants of Israel. As you see in the land space that they're arguing over now, the people who are ruling over in that little corner of land are people of European descent only. And that's what they mostly focus on. But what I'm going to show you through scriptures is that Israel, the descendants of Israel, are encompass a whole variety of people, especially black and brown descendants of Israel, that we mostly don't talk about, even in our congregation and various denominations, no matter if you're Catholic or you're Protestant, no matter if you're a part of a messianic congregation or um, it doesn't matter it's the body of messiah has kind of lost uh, a grasp of this particular oddity here where we do not address the entire whole house of israel we're going to return to scripture in order to validate these things these revelations here that may be new to you um, i'm going to show for example one particular thing, a falsehood that has been out there that has snuck in into a lot of denominations and believers in Messiah. Genesis chapter 12, verse 3 is a scripture in which God is telling Abraham, Father Abraham, that I want to bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. And he said, out of you, all nations will be blessed. A lot of people have taken that scripture and altered it to say, those who bless Israel will be blessed, and those who curse Israel will be cursed. But if you go back and read Genesis chapter 12 in its entirety, verses 2 and 3, God is specifically talking to Father Abraham. And he's telling him that I'm going to bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you, and all nations are going to be blessed through you. Abraham, if you go back and look at Genesis chapter 14, in that scripture is where you first hear of a person being called a Hebrew. That's Father Abraham. So under Father Abraham, you have all of the Hebrew descendants, which is inclusive of descendants of Israel, the children of Israel too. So when people have altered that scripture to just only specify Israel, they're not encompassing all the descendants of Abraham. And we have to return back to that truth because we don't want to alter God's word and become ignorant. Now, today I'm going to share with you from a scripture, a prophetic scripture in the book of Isaiah. It's going to be Isaiah chapter 11, verses 11 and 12. And in that scripture I'm going to read to you, it's going to show you how there are many more descendants of Israel, not just what's being represented by that land space or area that's defined by man today, that little speck of land that's really, like I said, about less than 10% of the whole area and boundaries of Israel that God defined in the Torah. So as I read the scripture, you can go ahead and pause and get ready. I'm going to also go to this biblical heritage chart to show you how God is gathering his dispersed people from amongst these different nations and people groups that are black and brown nations and people groups. Now, in this scripture, it's talking about God gathering his people, his children from the diaspora, 
The diaspora represents those who were dispersed out to all the nation. When Israel engaged in idolatry, God allowed them to be captured and enslaved and then placed and scattered amongst the four corners of the earth, not only in Europe. So um, this verse is prophetically to me speaking of a time that's starting to happen and occur now. Many people are being awakened to the fact that they're true descendants of the nation of Israel. And this is allowing them to cleave and draw closer to the most high and to return to the truth of his word. Because as he's calling them forth out of the Babylonian system, out of this beast system, he is calling them under his banner of safety and back into his love and care because the time has come. So now I'm going to begin to read to you Isaiah chapter 11. Isaiah chapter 11, verse 11. It will also come about in that day that my Adonai will again redeem a second time with his hand the remnant of his people who remain from Assyria, from Egypt, from Patros, from Cush, Elam, Shinar, Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. Verse 12. He will lift up a banner for the nation and assemble the dispersed of Israel and gather the scattered of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Now in this scripture, God is saying, I'm gathering my people from amongst Cush. As you can see, Cush is a descendant of Ham. He's gathering them from amongst Egypt, which is represented by Mizraim, who is also a descendant of Ham. He's gathering them from Pathros. Pathros is the northern part of Egypt in Africa. As you can see, one of the tribal groups on it, Mizraim, is the Pathrosites. He said he's gathering them from amongst Hamath. And if you look under the Canaanite, the tribal groups in, under the Canaanites, it's the Hamathites. These are all black and brown people in, in these land space and areas. So he says he's going to gather them also from a land. A land is present day Iraq. From Assyria, which is also Ashur, or known as Syria today. From Shinar. Shinar is located in this area of Harkshad, which is current day Iraq. So he's gathering all his people from amongst all these brown and black uh, countries and land space and areas. They are black and brown descendants of Israel. He also says in here, I'm going to gather you from amongst the islands of the sea. And if you look geographically, if you look at the islands all across the world, from the Polynesian islands, all the way to the Caribbeans and the Bahamas, these are all black and brown descendants of Israel. Now, this is what the word says. I'm sharing it with you. If this is a fresh revelation, I hope it uplifts your spirit. I pray if you find that you are a descendant of Israel, that this will draw you closer to the Most High, draw you closer to his word, and so that you will trust in him even more wholeheartedly. Even if you find that you're not a descendant of Israel, our Messiah said that those who believe in him will also come into a partnership. They're brothers and sisters along with Messiah. They're heirs to the kingdom. So I pray that this new knowledge will uplift your spirit and draw you closer to him. Body and Messiah, we have to move away from a place of ignorance and be brought into a place of clear truth, truth that's revealed by his word. I pray that you've enjoyed this message. I pray that you will also join us again as I share more information in this Bible series, which explains the why. We love you, body and Messiah, and we pray and hope to see you more. Goodbye.